Welcome to Smacky's Garage. Today, it's unexpected project time. Now, where I live, we have vehicle inspections every year. So before I take my car in for an inspection every year, I actually go through the full checklist that they're gonna do, just to make sure that if something pops up, I'm aware of it and I can get a fix before I go into the inspection. So on our inspections here, they check suspension, they check, make sure there's no smoke coming out of the exhaust, they check all your lights and they check your seat belts. So I usually go through that checklist look at kind of the beginning, all the suspension, all the way to the lights, make sure everything's working. It's so much easier to get a fix beforehand when you go, before you go there versus getting a rejection sticker, needing to fix it, then come back 60 days later. Now, while I was going through my checklist, I found out that there's a lot of extra play in my front suspension and my front steering. So we're gonna go ahead and walk through exactly what I found there and kind of the fix for it. Let's go ahead, let's take a look at the car. Okay, simple 1969 Mustang steering system here. I have power steering. Uh, one of the things I noticed when I jacked it up, moved the wheel around, there was a little too much play. So I'm gonna try to figure out exactly where it's coming from. So if I go up and down, you know, I get some play there. If I go left and right, and a lot of play there. So we need to figure out what's causing that play. So kind of the way that I typically look to try to figure out what the issue is, is I'll look and see, try to figure out what is moving. So on this, you know, I can see the entire hub moving, but so the next thing I look at after I check this area is I want to look at kind of the steering system and the suspension. So starting the suspension up here, you know, going like this, I don't see the suspension moving at all. So this, is good. So this ball joint here is good. It's definitely more play in this direction. So it's looking more towards the steering system. Now, as we were making our way back, since it was moving left and right, next I'm gonna check the inner and outer tie rod ends. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start moving this. And now the first thing I'm noticing is, it's probably hard to see, but the tie rod end is actually moving as I'm tilting this back and forth. And I can see it's not only occurring here, so this piece to the outer tie rod end is hard, so it's not moving against this, so it's definitely not the outer tie rod end. It looks like it's something potentially on the inner tie rod end or somewhere else in the steering. Now I can see the steering itself, so here's the steering valve. When I do this, the valve isn't moving. So essentially that means probably gonna be the inner tie rod end. Fortunately, my car is not jacked up high enough for me to be able to get to that right now. So I'm gonna need to put the car up on ramps to be able to check that out. Okay, go ahead. Now what I'm noticing is the inner tie rod end is actually loose on that center linkage rod. So there's something that could have gone wrong here. Either the center linkage rod is too worn out and the hole has gotten bigger, okay. or the tie rod has actually loosened up. But the whole point of the castle nut is to make it so it doesn't loosen up. Okay, so we did find the culprit of it. So I'm gonna see if I can tighten this castle nut down a little bit more now that I took the pin out to see if the play stops. But just in case, I'm gonna end up buying a new tie rod end on the inner tie rod end too, to make just make sure everything is right. It's probably better to replace it anyway. So my guess is it was probably a little bit loose and it was moving around in there some, and it's opened that hole. So for right now, I'm gonna tighten everything back down. I'm gonna tighten the castle nut, make sure that everything is fully tightened down, and then we're gonna see to make sure that there's no play left. So I have someone on the outside of the car shaking the wheel back and forth, and what you're gonna notice is the inner tie rod end isn't moving anymore. So it was definitely the fact that that castle nut was loose. Now I need to put in the cutter pin and then we're done. So that's all it ended up being. So walking through the steps of how we fixed it, we took the wheel off, we shook it, looked at where the play was, what was moving, what wasn't moving. So after this fix, I took the car out for a drive, everything's tightened back up and it drives well. Was able to go get my inspection sticker and it's passed for another year. So thanks for tuning in to Smacky's Garage this week. I'll see you next time.